thank you so much for Antonio Dwyer for joining us. Now I'm looking at positive numbers now. Gross earnings up about a quarter of a percent, up 20 percent. Profit after tax, uh, marginal rise, 5.6 percent. And of course, you are giving out a dividend of 16 cover to your shareholders. Now, what do these numbers tell us going forward? We know that the uh, uh, the consumer goods sector has been one of the sectors in the market that continues to enjoy investors' patronage. I mean, it's a good industry. We know that people must eat, people must buy, you know, the, those uh, things in the sector. But going forward for you, what are your uh, broad expectations? Well, <clears throat> thank you very much. Uh, but don't let's take things for granted. We're in the food sector. We're not doing people in the food sector, but we happen to be doing very well because we are very strategic in our thinking. Um, if you look at all, some others in the food sector, they are struggling. Um, now, this, these figures tell you that uh, if you look back, you'll find consistent performance by Honeywell Flour Mills. Uh, not just that, we are poised to, in fact, increasing the level of earnings and profitability. Uh, a few months ago, we just completed uh, a new mill, okay. uh, Mills E and F, increasing our capacity by 67%. So this is going to give us increased possibility to increase our turnover, uh, increase our profits, and in fact provide the food that our customers love to take. Okay, well, let's take a look at uh, what's this latest development. It's, I mean, that's what, mar although the markets haven't had a chance to react to it, uh, looking at uh, the latest policy decision by the uh, Monetary Policy Committee to fix a 50% uh, cash requ uh, reserve requirement on banks' public, def uh, uh, public sector deposits. Does that affect you in any way? Well, I hope not. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but what, is, what it shows clearly is that government is recognizing that there's too much money in the system. Um, first, it was in the in private hands in the formal sector. They tried to put it into the banking sector, and then there's government money also in the banking sector. And I believe that if you look at the profits that the banks make, uh, and you compare to the depth of the economy, there's a mismatch. So I think this is the right direction. Does it affect us? I hope not. I hope that the NPR. Perhaps in terms of you know, borrowing, I hope I that the NPR, which no remains at twelve percent. Okay will provide a disincentive for banks to want to raise the, uh, the uh, interest rate. Rather, they should increase their rates to attract deposits. They should take in the loss in their very, very, very fat margin so that they can be more creative in providing funds to the uh, private sector. They shouldn't have any incentive to raise funds to the private sector because the NPR remains at 12%. I'm hoping they won't have to raise the funds. Nice. The cost of funds. For you specifically, you're saying that there won't be any direct, you're, you're hoping there won't well, be I'm any Well, I'm hoping. Uh, going forward, because we know there will definitely be I'm a reaction hoping it, it, it all depends on how the central bank is able to control them. Because already there's no justification for them to increase the cost of funds uh, in the hands of, of their customers. There isn't really. Now, usually I'm looking at uh, you know, the, the defensive sectors, food sector, of course. So how uh, resilient do you think it could be if we do see a likely uh, seller for the market? Well, fortunately, we're in the food sector. People must eat. Uh, obviously, there will be some discrimination. If cost go, goes up, um, people will have to discriminate what they will buy uh, and at what price. So there could be some lowering of demand. But of course, food again becomes uh, of uh, key importance. There will be some discrimination. We hope that it will not affect us because we provide essential goods for the people. Um, just for the sake of this discussion, you know that we provide semolina, we provide wheat meal, noodles, honeywell noodles, which has become very, very popular um, for the emerging middle market for children, pasta uh, in the uh, urban areas, in very, very popular fast food. In terms of how that's going to impact on your bottom line, do you see that increasing? Because we're looking at, a growth, I mean, for the year, 20%. Do you think you could have done better? Do, you, do I think that we could do head, better? Head, we could have done better, we could do better going forward. I mean, we know it's going a large forward, industry. we will do better. The reason that we achieved only a 20% increase this time was because we were already nearing our production capacity. Um, but now that we've come up with a new meal, uh, increasing capacity by 60%, in the coming year, we should do exceedingly well. Exceedingly well in terms of earnings and in terms of turnover. We are well poised to do that.